Here's a Lightroom problem that has had me tearing my hair out for two days, and I want to show you the quick, easy, five-second solution. I recently updated to Lightroom version 14.3 because I wanted to try the new landscape masking features. So I opened up a photo that looks like it has landscape elements, but then when I went to open the masking panel, I found that landscape was grayed out and unavailable, as was objects, and also subject, sky, background, all of these are grayed out and unavailable. So what's going on? I thought maybe there was a problem with this particular photo, so I kept opening other photos and I found the same problem with all of them. Now, to make a very long story short, after spending two days trying to figure this out, including upgrading my computer operating system unnecessarily, I finally found the cause. Lightroom periodically updates what it calls the process version, which it uses to process your photos. Your older photos have a different process version than your newer ones, depending on when you imported them into Lightroom. And as it turns out, photos with an older process version have to be upgraded to a newer process version before this masking tool will work on that photo. But the frustrating thing is, Adobe doesn't tell you that's why the tools are grayed out. I don't understand why when I open this masking panel and start clicking on things that don't work, Lightroom doesn't just pop up a little warning that says, hey, this thing you're clicking on won't work until you upgrade the process version of this photo. That seems so simple, but for some reason they don't tell you that. It's just grayed out with no clue as to why. And then you pull your hair out and you go chasing down rabbit holes trying to figure out what's going on. Well, here's how you can fix this. In the develop panel, if you see this tiny little lightning bolt icon below the histogram, that means this photo has an older process version. And if you click on the little lightning bolt, you can update the process version for that photo. So I'm just going to click update. And now you can see these tools are available. Landscape, subject, sky, all that stuff that was grayed out, it's working now. Now the question that comes up is, should you update all of your old photos at once to the new process version, or should you just do them one at a time as needed as I'm doing here? Now, just out of curiosity, I did a search to see how many photos I have with an older process version. You can find that by going to the library module, and then on the library menu, picking find previous process photos. And it takes a little while to run. And as you can see here, I have 65,998 photos with an older process version. Now it is possible to update all or just some of your older photos all at once. For example, now that I have those 65,000 photos in the film strip, I could go back to the develop module and I could click on the little lightning bolt and I could click here where it says update all film strip photos to do all 65,000 of them at once. Or of course, I could put a smaller set of photos into the film strip and just update those. For example, I could update a particular folder from a particular photo shoot or a particular day and just update all of those photos in the film strip. And that might be worth it if you know you're going to be working heavily on that whole set of photos. But here's my philosophy on this. You don't want to go blindly updating old photos that you may have already edited in the past. The reason is your old edits may be changed when you change the process version. For example, there were editing tools in previous versions of Lightroom that don't even exist anymore in the current develop panel. So there's no way for the changes you made way back then in your original edits to be exactly recreated in the new process version. So you may find that your old edited photos look different when you upgrade them to the new process version. So this is why I don't go back and blindly update my old photos in bulk. I prefer to do it one at a time as needed. And just to be on the safe side, I make a virtual copy and then I upgrade the process version of the virtual copy and do my new editing there. That way I always have the original edited version also if I prefer it. If you want to learn more about Lightroom, I have a complete Lightroom course called Lightroom Made Easy on my website at steeltraining.com. I hope you found this helpful, and I look forward to talking to you again soon.